Now once we save the booking, you'll notice that we have a booking number on the top left hand side. Now don't forget there's a really handy search area on the top right hand side of your account that allows you to quickly put the booking number in and click go and that will bring you straight in. So on the left hand side we have the customer contact details and on the right hand side we have the booking details. Now I'm going to go through some of these tabs so you know what they do. Now the customer notes area this is a place where you can save information you would like to remember about the guest in the future. So this is saved against their name and address in the database. So this is handy for things like if anyone has any allergies or perhaps desired disabled access, anything like that, or even things that you would just like to remember. Perhaps they came last year on their honeymoon, for example. Custom fields, so that's your extra questions you're asking at the time of booking your rating and any previous bookings. So if this guest had stayed before, in here it would give you a breakdown of when and what property they've stayed in. On the right hand side we can see a breakdown of what has been booked. So this is the place where you're always checking over before you send any correspondence to the guest. Just checking that you're happy with the arrival details, the full rate, and any extras. If you do need to make a change by clicking on this edit button it will open up a pop-up and it will allow you to change anything from the arrival date to the property to the price. You'll also be able to add extras within here so at the top of this screen you'll have all the extras you usually offer and if you wanted to add a one-off custom extra you have the freedom to do so there. Also within here we can add housekeeping notes and guest names. We have a further line of tabs at the bottom. The customer payment area where you can mark off any payments that have been made or if the guest is paying via card that will feed back into Supercontrol if you use an online payment gateway and you'll be able to see what they've already paid. The security deposits again that's if you take a security deposit History and correspondence, this is where you can send your guest an email to confirm if you're happy to accept the booking or give them an update on where they are with their payments. At the bottom of this area you'll be able to see that we have a history and the history is a great way of keeping all your correspondence history to that guest in one place. It's also handy if you have other people managing your bookings you can come into the booking and clearly see the user, the date and time and click to view the email that's been sent. You can add notes or files to a particular booking. So this is just notes or files that are just for this booking only. So unlike the customer notes, these aren't saved against the database. These are just saved against this booking. So if you add a note within here and save it, it gets sent over to the history and correspondence area. A handy feature within the bookings area is the add a reminder tab. So if you do need to remember to do anything, for example if the guest would like flowers on arrival, you can type in here what you need to remember and the date and set it. That means for each user in the account the message will pop up on that date and it will keep popping up until it's completed. And again, a breakdown here of the website and source, your reference fields, if you use upfront reviews or verified review service. If you wanted to add a group booking, you can do so through this add dates tab. What it lets you do is you can use the same dates and different property or you can select a completely new set of dates. It depends on the booking itself. So you're always adding the first property to the booking first and then adding the second and third and so on. And this will create a group booking. So within each tab, we can see a nice breakdown of the pricing for each. But if we come down into the customer payment area, it has totaled both of those bookings together. So this is quite handy for group bookings if they're all paying as one. 
If you have a family or a group of people that are booking and they're all paying individually, it is easier to create these as separate bookings. The reason being for that, if you use an online payment gateway for payments, the payment provider will always check the guest's name and address that it matches against the card. So if you have multiple people paying, it would mean you would need to update the address each time. So it's sometimes easier to have separate bookings. Now finally, to cancel a booking, you would click on to the cancel tab and you have the option to charge a cancellation fee at this point. And you can just click cancel and it will ask you, do you want to remove all the extras and set everything to zero and you can confirm and you can't miss it at the top that it's cancelled. And you can find all of your cancelled bookings within your bookings menu under cancelled bookings. So if you ever needed to reinstate them at any time, you can find them all within there.